These are uh, double cuts. They're a really handy tool to have, and I re recommend um, any uh, home shop to have them if you're going uh, to. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use a pair of double cuts to cut a square hole. As you can see, I already marked out my hole here. Um, hopefully, you're able to see it. Uh, so, the trick to cutting out squares with the pair of double cuts is basically when you're cutting this you gotta first get to your line of where you're going and then you can stop these things rather pretty precise as where they're cutting um, and then you can pivot them like so to get them to cut through each corner um, to kind of direction them like this. If you're cutting this way you can pivot off this corner and kind of get them to turn which way you want. So it is possible to cut a square hole with, with uh, double cuts and you can become pretty proficient at it rather quickly once you get used to the tool of course. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I've done in the past and I'm going to make a gouge in my metal that way I can, uh, I can start my double cuts in there. So now that I got my gouge See, I'm, I try to get it as close to the edge as possible. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to run these double cuts and I'm going to line it up on this outside, uh, my right, your left edge. Not like this because my hole, because of where my waist is going. Now, as I cut, you're going to see this cur curl up as in the previous video. Alright, there we go. We're all lined up. Um, I made my gouge close to the edge and uh, it's going to take a little bit of... Uh, finesse to get it inside and get it started inside this gouged hole. Um, if you really want to, you can always make your gouge a little wider so that way um, it's easier for you. I even see guys going gouging this way and then gouging an X in it, which uh, works pretty well, but not 100% necessary. So as you see that, I'm actually turning my screwdriver up like so, that way I can um, guide it through where I'm going. So now I even have that much more of a gouge in it. I'm not too worried about this part being bent because of course that's going to be my cut edge. So let's go ahead and get started with the double cuts. Notice I'm stopping and getting it to turn. I can always trim out these corners later, so I'm not too concerned with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run along the edge as close as I can get it. Pivoting and kind of turning. Not the cleanest in the world. You leave yourself some stitched gators, as I like to call them. But, you know, you can always trim this out. You can always leave a little more of where you're pivoting. But, it's not ideal for a smaller hole like, like this. It's more ideal for a bigger hole if that's what, if that's what your application is. Um, I'd recommend using the snips on this, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm just showing you how you can use these double cuts. 